Hey there, we're the Stewarts. This is my husband, Hunter. He's smart, funny, loving. Oh, and he's pretty cute too. And this is me, Carly. Hunter and I have been married for about a year now. And these are our fur babies, Canyon and Summit. We adopted both of these sweet boys from rescues. Hunter and I grew up in a small town in Southern Maryland, and we had every intention of buying a house and settling down there together. Until we started traveling, every chance we could get, we would take off work to explore the US. It didn't take long for us to realize that we are happiest when we are traveling, hiking, and just enjoying the outdoors together. So we decided that we had to find a way to live everyday life like that. We bought a retired school bus in January 2021, spent nine months converting it into our tiny home on wheels, quit our jobs, sold everything, and hit the road. With no itinerary planned, we have no idea where the road will take us next. If you would like to join us along our travels, click the subscribe button below for a new video every Friday. When you first walk into our bus, you'll notice that we have a deadbolt, like a normal house door. And we have a cubby up above our door where we keep our dog's leashes. We also installed two baskets here for things that we often grab on our way out of the bus, like their e-collars and flashlights. And we also have hooks for shoe storage. The original bus seat was rigid and fixed, so we replaced it with this air ride seat. We also have a backup camera up here and a tablet here for our GPS. Throughout the bus, we used foam board, spray foam, wool and foil insulation. For the floors, we chose vinyl plank flooring that is pet proof and waterproof. For the ceiling, we used cedar tongue and groove and we replaced the emergency exits with skylights. We have two seven foot couches. They both pull out into beds and have storage underneath. We chose to use rope handles because we wanted something soft that wouldn't catch us as we walked by the couches. We also have USBs and outlets on both sides of each couch. For our cushions, we had upholstery foam custom cut to size, and we chose to use Sunbrella outdoor patio fabric because we thought it would hold up best with the dogs. One of our favorite things in the bus are our live edge countertops. Our friend John Kidd from the Renaissance Mill milled them, sanded them, and epoxied them for us. They are black walnut and all three pieces are from the same tree. We decided to install a bar style table instead of a dinette because we thought it would utilize the space better. Underneath we have our dog food storage as well as our seats. We also use our seats as a platform to feed our dogs, an ottoman, and they have storage built in. Before we started the bus build, we lived in a 30-foot tow-behind camper for about a year and a half, and a lot of the decisions in our bus are based off of that experience. One of them is our Mr. Cool Mini Split. It's very energy efficient and quiet, unlike the overhead AC unit we had in our camper. All of our cabinets are from Lowe's and we installed RV drawer catches in each of them. Even filled with pots and pans, none of them have opened up on us while we've been driving. We're really happy with the decision to install a large sink in our bus. All of the water in our bus goes through two filters and our drinking water goes through a seven stage reverse osmosis system. We have a 12 volt apartment size fridge that's very energy efficient. There's plenty of space inside for us to stock up on groceries every two weeks. 
This is our propane stove. It's been great for cooking and baking. and we used Black River Rock that was left over from our shower floor as a hot plate on the side. And this extra space underneath our hot plate is where we stow our laundry basket. Over here we have our remote for our mini split, our control for our diesel heater, where we can check our propane levels, our control for our water heater, and the light switches. We put in indirect lighting behind the wire covers and underneath our cabinets. We didn't want anything that would be harsh on our eyes with limited ceiling space. These are our storage drawers. The first two are used as our pantry. The next one is cleaning supplies and this one is bathroom supplies. Up top we keep our windshield covers, dog toys and dog bowls, towels and toilet paper. The drawers over here are our closet, the first two drawers are Hunter's clothes, and the bottom two drawers are my clothes. Throughout the bus we used a lot of pallet wood that we reclaimed from local businesses. We built this barn door. We mounted the door on drawer slides because we didn't want overhead hardware since we're both pretty tall. We went with a composting toilet because we didn't want a black water tank. We're so happy with our separate toilet. It's been great. We frosted the bathroom window for privacy using a tint-like material. For our shower walls, we used corrugated roofing tin. It was really inexpensive and we love the look of it. And for our shower floors, we used black river rock. We keep the dog's water bowl in the bottom of the shower. So when it spills as we drive, it just goes down the drain. On this wall we have our dimmer switches for the bathroom and the bedroom. We also have our Victron display and we have one more storage cube that we keep there so that it's easier on the dog's joints when they get up in the bed. We have a queen size bed and underneath of it we have 110 gallons of fresh water and all of our electrical components. Above our bed we have a max air fan. When it's time to go to bed, we roll down all of our curtains and we have a layer of Reflectix insulation inside of them. Thank you all so very much for watching. We really hope that you enjoyed the interior tour of our bus. If you're interested in seeing the exterior tour, we will be uploading that video next Friday. Hope to see you then.